Thank you, uh, Robert, for coming words. Um, I'm one of the uh, newest guys in the uh, Congress. And uh, as I walked in the door, I got to meet uh, and spend some quality time with uh, Nancy Pelosi and uh, uh, Charlie Rangel and, uh, and Congressman Hinchy. Um They're the old guard. They left us with an incredible mess. They're career politicians. And on the other side of the aisle, my side, your side, I met a different breed. If you feel that this uh, country is in serious trouble, well, it is, but I'm telling you there is hope. There are people, like the gentleman I am about to introduce, who are dedicated to do the right thing, the right job. He's not a career politician. He's in this for the best of reasons. He sees his country is in trouble, and it really is. And he is dedicated to fix it. He's a man who has his head screwed on straight. And he got that way, maybe with the help of the US military, where he has left as a uh, retired as a colonel. Oh. What was that? <laughs> It wasn't just in the service, that would have been, uh, not the Marines? Uh, so <laughs> better. <laughs> okay. So, Chris uh, is one of, of a large group of, of freshmen who are dedicated just to do the right thing. This isn't their job. They don't see themselves as politicians. They see themselves as the vanguard of the group that has to fix what's wrong. We have enormous debt. We have our social programs going off the tracks. Clearly, in a, in a definable period of time, we have left a legacy to our children and grandchildren of an unsustainable society. It can be fixed if we act now. And there are politicians, and I use the term in the best way, who are ready to put their necks on the line and get it done. And one of them is the next congressman that will be representing this district. You will get to know him, and when you do, I think you'll like him. And he's easy to know. And that's simply because he tells you as it is, he means what he says, he says what he means. That simplicity is kind of rare in Washington, but that's him. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Christmas.